I notice as I'm talking to other design professionals, they have a really hard time getting their mind around ICF. It's just so unconventional to them. I've run into the same issue with design engineers. In fact, we're working on a project right now with a potential client who has a kind of miniature version of this cut into the hillside and such. And the design professionals don't want to talk about ICF at all. And so I went to the owner inside and said, hey, you know, this is really an option. And they're very interested. In fact, they saw this home. and That's one of the reasons they brought us on board. And so I've got to go in there and kind of sell it to the design professionals, which once you've been through a project, it's real easy to do. If you haven't been through it yet, you want to bring in somebody there can help you sell it because it's hard for people to change. In fact, the engineer on that project said, the home just doesn't scream ICF to me. And so I asked the question, I said, so what would a home look like that screams ICF? And he said, well, it would probably be a refrigerated wine storage facility in the warmer regions of our county. But okay, so that told me the answer is that he would never consider it for a residential. It's a lot easier to sell the client on it than it is to sell the design professionals. There's a complete phase shift from conventional residential construction. This is much more of a commercial process and everyone adapts to that very quickly. And that was one of the things I was worried about is how quick could the subs change over? Well, we tend to use subs that do commercial work and residential work. And they walked right in and it was real easy for them to adapt. So being able to bring them to a project or show them examples of projects, because Nadura has, of course, many of them they can help you show your client. Showing them what they can do structurally, showing them how they can put in a rigid diaphragm in the floor because they're doing concrete walls, especially on these coastal homes or anywhere where there's a view and especially anywhere we have inclement weather. Here we have to really focus more on the assembly time, the fact that we're able to put the building together a little bit quicker than with wood, the fact that it's one trade going from the ground all the way to the roof, a lot less trade interaction, a lot less coordination. Once one crew is there, they get it and they take it all the way up. The errors that can happen when you're switching back and forth between trades, it eliminates that. It also allows us to go with open floor systems. The floor joists on this home are four foot on center and they're open web. And so bringing in even large duct mechanical in the floor system is a piece of cake. And oftentimes in these contemporary homes, they have flat roofs, they have no attic space. And that makes it to where the mechanical engineers have a really hard time figuring out how to route their mechanical. So this opens up that whole floor system to be able to do that, which you can do that with some of the wood systems, but it's really challenging. Well, this lends itself very well to that. So you start picking up more efficiencies in those other areas. It also creates a very quiet home. And that's something that our clients love. And so when they say, hey, you know, we want our home to be quiet, maybe it's near a freeway or some other source of noise, it adds to the sound deadening effects. And just really helping the design professionals to understand that what we're doing is serving our client with this option, not just coming up with a new way to build a house. We're actually meeting the needs of our client and we're solving a lot of the design problems that they haven't ever seen a solution for. So they just assume they're always going to be there, like the need to have shear on all four sides of the box, so to speak, where we're now because of this system, we can open up one whole side. And that's huge when you have a gorgeous view like this one where you're looking out on the Pacific Ocean, you want to be able to put as much glass as you can. And this enables us to do that. So a combination of all these features, usually we can get them on board. And then once the client says they want it, then the hook is set and we're, we're good to go.